You lied to me, Google. You lied to me. I now use ViaBus, a local Thai app used for tracking and following the latest bus information. Not only does it have the most updated information in terms of routes, it also has live GPS tracking from any of the air-conditioned bus routes en route. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, via bus. Screw you, Google, for your misinformation. What do you call this, Google? What do you call this, Google? You lied to me. There is a bus that comes out to Lam Luca. The 6250. I'm going all the way to Ring Sit today. Let's do some shopping. See, malls may be dying in America, but they're actually growing pretty big here in Thailand. You know, they just opened up a Terminal 21 in Pattaya. And right now, I'm at Future Park in Rang Sit on Saturday. And this place is just crazy right now. There's a lot of shoppers here. actually filming with another English teacher of mine and we were making a video to promote his photography. So I really wasn't filming the shops or anything in the shops. The camera was focused on him. But within maybe 15 minutes of having my camera out, I was approached by somebody very official looking and I was told, no camera, no camera. Even though there are literally dozens of videos from Inside Cyan, Paragon, but we did get some really great shots outside of the mall as well. And uh, here's a little preview of what I'm putting together for him. So it was very nice spending much of the day with a fellow native English speaker. During the break, I went weeks without having a real conversation with somebody. Yes, there are a lot of vloggers in Thailand who make YouTube videos about subjects of living in Thailand, visiting Thailand, and of course I can just go outside and take my camera and go exploring, but I'm very hesitant to do that. See, I, I think Thai vloggers have a really bad reputation because it's stuff like this that gets to the news. A video posted on YouTube by a different American ended up with him being attacked on Walking Street. The scruffy filmer is first seen and then heard being rude about local Thais at various points along the street before taking on a motorcycle taxi man who, to be fair, had had more than enough. The so-called vlogger was outraged at his assault, which wasn't filmed. The truth is, of course, that he got carried away. So there are the different vlogging communities, but I think they're more like high school cliques. Uh, even when they're hanging out with each other, things aren't always going smoothly, as we can see in this following clip. I'll put you in it there. So, so there's six of you, right? They want to have a shot at him. Okay, so next Sunday, it'll be the eighth. Is that correct? Okay, so my two, but you can have the first slot, which is from six to seven. Well, no, Stephen can have no, that. No, it's not. 
No, it's not. That's uh, the fucking. That's my streaming time. Why would I fucking cut into my okay. streaming time? <laughs> 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 okay. My stream goes ahead. I have. I have. Okay, we'll, make it, we'll make it Sunday night then. We'll make it Sunday night. As long as it doesn't cut into Stephen's tomorrow night. night. We can make it tomorrow night. I, I'm not. I'm not going to do it, Johnny. Okay. I'll, if I want to talk to my channel, I'll slot you in. And now, right, no, right, I, so, I don't want to, Johnny. I'm not doing. Can I just interrupt for a second? Yeah. Well, I, I, well, hey, actually, Johnny. Johnny, if you want to do it, here, gentlemen. I just couldn't be fucking bothered. Monday night, if he wants to come along, I'll fucking do it. Where, where, on your channel? On my channel. Okay, cool. Okay, okay. I'll put that on the whiteboard. Okay, Johnny Rotten. Okay, Johnny Rotten. What time, Johnny? Gentlemen, (laughs) on my way. Seven thirty Australian time. Okay, seven thirty Australian time. Uh, Gentlemen, you can't do that. Go to Thailand. You have to be Thai time. Go to. I I I just think. That's right. That's right. I'll talk to him. See, see what we've got, gentlemen, at the Four moment. I always mute him. Exactly. There's a thing called divide and conquer, right? Like. And 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 what precisely is happening now is divide and conquer, <laughs> right? That's what's happening now. We have friends arguing amongst themselves, and there's there's one particular person sitting back now laughing at all of us, and. Um, yeah, exactly. And he, he's win- and he is winning. He's fucking. He's sitting back. He's sitting back now. Guys, oh, I fucking love this. I love it. I will say I do like uh, the gentleman with the uh, words of wisdom at the end. I like the cut of his jib. He uh, kept a calm head and all that, and brought some uh, perspective to the whole situation. Um, there is a lot of drama within this vlogging community. So much so that I could probably make a successful channel just make doing commentary videos on the drama within the vlogging community. Um, like this one guy, Bangkok Travel, he said something the other day that I found quite interesting. My advice obviously would be get in contact with the police, but once you do that, I, I would leave it at that. I'd leave it in the hands of the police. No, it's in the hands of the police. She contacted the police straight away. I didn't. She did. All I did this morning was go down to give them the uh, photo shots of all the messages that were on Jorgen's channel where Chris has made the threats and Jorgen has loved them. All I did this morning was go down to give them the uh, photo shots give them the uh, photo shots photo shots at its core adobe photoshop cs5 is a software application that is used for editing digital images manipulating them enhancing them or even creating images from scratch and that is the, that is where i am it is at this moment bangkok travel new he messed up I thought I was busy last year. No, 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 no. I am much busier this school year. I started last year teaching at one level, Matium 3, teaching one class, conversational English, and I met them twice a week. So that was only two lesson plans that I had to make. Here, I'm teaching uh, Matium 1, general English. Matthew 6, Career English. Uh, Matthew 6, English Language Project. Matthew 6, Creative Writing. Matthew 6, Listening and Speaking. Uh, Matthew 2, Daily English Conversations. Uh, Matthew 3, AP English. And Matthew 1, Reading and Writing. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of lesson plans. And I have midterm tests that I'm going to have to make this weekend to submit next week before the tests are given out. It's a lot of work for not really much pay in the grand scheme of things. Makes one think sometimes.
then on top of that, I think I was told to not film on campus. I think that's what I was told. There, a lot of times the message is lost in translation, quite literally. Uh, but just to play it safe, I'm not going to have the camera out around uh, any of the faculty or students. I, I did have it out one morning. The funny thing about that, I wasn't filming students. I was filming the family of stray dogs that has made the campus their home. There are a lot more dogs in this area than where I was last year. And they are a bit more aggressive out here. Maybe it's because it's uh, more of an industrialized area. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, I mean, every morning I'm passing by some uh, junkyard and if they're not quietly sleeping, there's one dog that crawls under the gate and tries to come at me. Thank goodness I walk softly but carry a big stick now. It's rainy season, so I have this big golf umbrella that I swing around while I'm walking. <laughs> uh, so if there's gonna be no school videos this year, I mean, what am I going to do? And I've been thinking a lot about my personal health lately. I mean, ever since the holidays, it kind of went downhill a bit. I don't know why I let it get to me that as badly as it did. Um, but the holidays really hit me. Um, it's not because I'm alone out here. It's because I, I tried to make it special. And one thing I realized is that, I mean, I never celebrated the holidays growing up because I grew up in a doomsday cult. So a lot of the magic that one feels at the holidays is based on nostalgia. And I just don't have that nostalgia. So I just kinda, I just, things went a little dark for me for a little while. And uh, I think I sort of lost focus of why I'm out here. So I think one thing that I'm going to focus on this year is just improving my personal health. I mean, professionally, I think I'm doing everything that I should be doing. Um, it's something that's going to take a little time. So, personally, I cut out the people who were, oh, to use an unfortunate word, toxic to my existence. Uh, now I need to really start focusing on my personal health. I mean, half my life is gone, only half my life if I'm lucky, if, if I work hard at it. So now I think is the time to work hard at it. I mean, I. There were some pictures taken of me up on stage when I was introducing myself to the students. And uh, yeah, you see the smile on my face. And you know, I'm, some of the kids are happy, but that that's not the healthiest guy up there. I know I can do better. I'm definitely moving in the right direction, I think. I mean, I look at my Texas license. I look at that picture and I look at where I am right now, I know it's better, but I just need to keep moving in that positive direction. So, that's just what I gotta do. Start uh, working on my health, working on being the best version of me that I can do in whatever time I have left. So uh, we all got to start somewhere, so let's start that. Hello boy, so that's the number I'm starting at. <laughs> <laughs>